Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And what we have for you is this European Championship group stage confrontation. It's Denmark up against Russia. Yeah, thank you, Derek. Real pleasure to be here. Looking forward to this game. Players will be a bit nervous. I was always nervous at the start of games. It's important you get your first pass off to your colleague, maybe get a good tackle in, settle the nerves down. Looking forward to a good game here. The line-up then for the hosts. Kasper Schmeichel begins in goal. Yannick Vestergaard plays with Andreas Christensen in central defence. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. And this is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. Yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. What it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them. But it also gives you three supporting players to that central striker. And so the battle commences. How about the cross? to the goal that puts them ahead a wayward effort and it's not going to help his team Lee well wayward indeed I think he had more time than he thought he just rushed it a little bit technique was all wrong oh nice ball over the top to chase must take the lead here oh he's been denied and they remain locked together. Well, the goalkeeper has earned his corn there. A fabulous save. Magnificent defending. Alexei Miranchuk. And that pass could be troublesome. Can he keep his composure? Opportunity missed. Well, that was the chance to take the lead, and the manager's frustration is there for all to see. Mele, Vass, and crossed in there. High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that, and it was close. Well, it's all about timing. You've got to wait for the ball to come down, and he's very, very unlucky. Mario Fernandes. Well, it was never going to worry the keeper. Well, no wonder he's looking a little bit sheepishly at his teammates. Head in a hand sort of moment. And there it is, the final whistle. 